Do you see how much you show me tomorrow? Yeah. So I had videos explaining all of this, but I guess I got deleted or something. So uh, this first clip you're going to see is me throwing Frisbee with Austin before Ultimate. And uh, the rest of the video is about me making matzo ball soup, which uh, it's like a Jewish dumpling. That's it. Just got back from Ultimate. <clears throat> got a good run in, feeling pretty chill. It's like 50 degrees out here. It's freaking beautiful. Got my favorite sweatshirt on sweatpants about to head to Kroger grab the stuff to make the stock I'm just vibing out here dude all right so we're just gonna start off by sharpening my favorite knife ever so we're just gonna get some cold water going and uh, cut open this chicken. I was actually really excited about this chicken because uh, it was $5, and that is a lot of chicken for $5. And as you can see, they're freaking huge too. So I think I only, yeah, I only ended up using five. And uh, yeah, let's get those out of there. That's gonna be plenty of flavor. So what we're gonna start off here with the vegetables, we're gonna start off with a classic mirepoix. So mirepoix is basically the combination of onion, carrot, and celery. So it's the base for a lot of soups and things like that. So, and it doesn't really matter how we're cutting these up because we're gonna strain everything off. Like all of these vegetables, are gonna be gross by the time because this simmers for like 45 minutes so all these vegetables are just gonna be mush and you know pretty gross by the end so we're just gonna cut these up however get some good surface area make sure all those flavors release so I think next up is the garlic clove so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get that off of there don't know what that is so cut it into get an extra garlic clove and uh, just go ahead and split this one down the middle. It seems kind of weird to split a garlic clove down the middle, but you know, when you're just like making good food at home, there are no rules, baby. So just split that bad boy down the middle. And uh, we're gonna go full force with our carrot here. Just cut that up. And uh, yeah, like I said, the carrots were actually really good. And I'm not even a carrot fan. So I'm uh, just gonna keep on mixing it in here. I had some green onion in my fridge that was kind of going bad. And I think green onion kind of has like a distinct flavor and uh, hopefully my chef isn't watching this video and sees my, you know, cutting techniques because, yeah, so yeah, another thing that has a unique flavor is celery, and I don't really even like the flavor of celery. We're just kind of going for this mirepoix here, and uh, I feel kind of obligated to put it in here, and you know, you're not even going to taste a stalk of celery after you strain it out, so that was really pointless. So now we're going to start with the seasonings, get some coarse sea salt in here, a little bit more, put that bad boy in there. And then, uh, what's next? Thyme. Yeah, so, gonna put that thyme in there. A little more, a little less. Yeah, there we go. So up next, I think, is rosemary. Yeah, so rosemary also has a really distinct flavor. And uh, a little bit goes a long way. Except this dried stuff kind of isn't as intense as fresh so you can kind of use more um yeah so we're just gonna kind of stir this up 
make sure all these flavors poke that a little bit make sure all these flavors are getting around and uh, yeah so the last thing is Sichuan peppercorns shout out to Darby our trip to Jungle Gems got these bad boys they're like insanely spicy and uh, it should be pretty good so that's pretty much it. We're just gonna start the fire, get that up to a boil as fast as we can. Okay, so the left leftover chicken, we're just gonna, you know, put on some olive oil, and you're actually not allowed to know what I'm putting on it. So uh, just kind of get those evenly coated. We're gonna flip them back over, make them all nice and uniform and skin side up try to get that kind of crispy and uh that's about it those should be pretty good let's get those out of here so now we want to skim off all that oil you see on top and this is after it already this is done now this is you know an hour later so we're going to get all that off the top and as you can see it's not working at all so we're gonna strain all this off, like I was talking about, all these vegetables that are pretty much useless now and kind of gross. <clears throat> so now we're gonna get started with the matzo balls. So right now we're rendering down the chicken skin that you saw earlier. After I cooked it, I peeled it off and started rendering down the skin. We'll be using that later. So. What you're gonna do when you start your monster balls is separate the whites from the yolks and you're gonna use your hands because you're a man and they're just eggs. So you're just gonna dive on in there and uh, have these done soon, there we go. So now you're gonna whip up your egg whites until they're pretty foamy and at about this moment I looked around and was trying to find my electric mixer because I realized this was about to be awful. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and skip past this because it took a really long time. So you wanna get your egg whites probably a little past that, but like I said, I was, I mean, I, I, I really went at it and I was tired and I still had to mix up the egg yolks, so. Once you get both of those mixed up, you're just gonna fold them in, and really, you want to just mix them until they are incorporated. You don't really wanna do anything. You know, from my understanding, I don't know. That's what I read, okay? I did follow a recipe for the matzo balls because I've never made them before. And uh, so yeah, there I go mixing them. Like I said, I shouldn't. So yeah, those are nicely incorporated. So now we're gonna go back to the broth that I was talking about. Remember we popped this bad boy in the freezer? Now all this oil and fat on top is, you know, kind of solidifying and we're gonna be able to skin that up a little easier now. And uh, you'll see it here in a second. Where is it? Yeah, we don't wanna, you know, if you have the choice, you don't really want to do that. So um, now we have some baking soda. You know, usually I'm not too familiar with the old baking soda, but you know we're gonna be using it. So there you have your matzo meal, a cup of that, and now we have seltzer water. I think it was one fourth, yeah, one fourth cup, and. You know, I don't even think I've ever bought seltzer water, and it really almost, like, exploded on me, so... You can't really see it, but that's only a fourth of the way full. So, we're just gonna mix all that in there. And this is another thing, you only wanna mix it until incorporated, whatever. Because, you know, you want these matzo balls to be light and fluffy. So you want to kind of keep all the gas that you can in there and not smash it out. So we're going to oil up our hands here and uh, start rolling out. Oh, by the way, this chilled in the fridge for 30 minutes and kind of hardened up a little bit. So, you know, 
gonna make these into balls and as you can see it's getting kind of gross so you know we just went ahead and powered through that and you don't need to watch that so uh yeah you pretty much just add them in boil them for like five minutes and uh I'm actually boiling these in the stock so once they float they're done and uh yeah, we're gonna strain back out that stock and that's about it so yeah that's what i was talking about so you see all that floating in there that's just uh lots of ball debris so we're gonna strain all that back out because we want that nice smooth broth again all right i'm back and uh just got done here is the finished product and I would put some kind of like filter or something on these to make them look better, but they kind of do look, you know, pale and soggy. But I think they're gonna be good. So first I'm gonna taste the broth or the soup, whatever. It's actually really good. Um, I think help uh, cooking the matzo balls in the soup you know, some of the water kind of evaporated out. So I'm gonna try the matzo balls now. I'm not scared. Okay, <clears throat> so like the texture of it is really good. You know, they're really warm and they soak up all the soup. But imagine like eating cornmeal. It doesn't, it just doesn't really taste like anything. So uh, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, it's, it's good. I was just expecting it, you know, I expected it to be like, wow. And it's not. I don't know. I, I you know the soup is good. I made the matzo balls exactly how you're supposed to make them. It's just not that good. I don't know if I would. I'm. I, I'm. I. I think I would make it one more time. It's not that good. I'm probably gonna eat the rest of this. Thanks for watching. Just try to take like two more bites and I'm kind of getting grossed out. I'm never making this again and I'm kind of pissed.